you don't listen that much But some of y'all don't listen at all The same shit they be pushing your butt It's got a grown man having withdrawals I don't mind if you don't listen that much Yo, I smile, but you say for the crowd But some of y'all don't listen at all but some of y'all don't answer that call Realize the movie that I was watching It's the end of the world, Illuminati is coming Gather the boys and girls and watch us it all in pearls They clutching at all their pearls and no one asking for guidance And yeah, let's check, won't you cash up that Oh, power, everything's off 55 degrees So both fans are off Check the freezer Freezers, everything's off also No fans, nothing So let's go check the roof Because since both of them are off and both of them run off the same power uh, It's gonna be something like a condenser maybe a Fuse popped or something. So. so the whole condenser is off. Alright, bro, grab the drill. Alright, touch that compressor. See if it's hot. No. no. Touch the other one. So anytime you come to a unit, bro, before you start turning on and off things, uh, you always want to give it a visual inspection, okay? So nothing looks out of the ordinary. Both fans are spinning. Nothing looks that it's blown up. That's from probably some before. All right, so now, Grab the flathead and take this panel off. You just bolt those little screws. Nice. And the same thing, bro. Right now, power is on, so you don't want to touch anything, okay? Um, just give it a quick look. See if you don't see nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing burn. Okay, so that's number one right there. You see that? See that? That's how it's all burned up. So that's number one we're going to have to look at. Contactor, the top pin is missing. You see that? Right here. So that's number two. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Before you start turning on and off things, just give it a quick, you know, visual inspection. So let's go ahead and start checking voltage and all that good stuff. All right, so now let's go ahead and check voltage coming in for staying. Remember, put your leads on top. That's where the power is coming from. One lead, okay. So you got 205, now switch leads, nice, you got 207, now go ahead and put this lead on the very end, and then that lead at the very end, yep, and you got 208, okay, so we got voltage on all three legs, okay, so now let's go ahead and check the power coming out, go ahead and check the bottom, yep, same way, 205, next one. 206, next one, 208. So it basically tells you your fuses are fine and you're getting voltage down to the system. Okay? So now, let's go next. Here, hold this. Cover this over here. So now we're gonna go ahead and check the rest and see what we find. All right, so yeah, start taking off those fuses. Check them out. Oh yeah, they look pretty pretty bad, huh? Okay, go ahead and check it out with the meter. Grab your leads, it's already ready. And remember, you should be getting a tone between it. So put your probe here and the other one over there, yeah. What are you getting? Online. Oh, Nothing, yep, perfect. So that's basically a bad one. To verify it, just check it again. Yep, we're getting zero. So this fuse is bad. Hopefully we got some. 20, you see right there where it says 20? The 20 amp fuse. I'll check the next one. We're gonna go through all of them. Okay, take it out. Put it right there and check it. 
You see how that one's making noise? Yeah. Okay, so that's good fuse. But even though this one's fine, if we have spares, we're gonna go ahead and just replace them all, okay? That it's just something. Anytime there's a fuse pop, you would just just replace them all. They're just they're cheap, okay? So that's that one's good. Check the next one. What we'll end up doing, bro, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just recommend all those fuse holders because if they're burned up like this, I bet you inside they're pretty bad. Okay, that one's good, also. So I'll go ahead and put this one on this side. And then uh, we're gonna go get some of those fuses and then we're gonna repair this connection. And uh, we'll go ahead and test it out after that. See what else we find. What type of things, you wanna go one step at a time. Start from the basics and then just keep moving forward. So let's go check if we have some of those fuses. 20s. All right, go ahead and just start putting the new ones in. No, it doesn't matter where. They're all 20 amps. All right, bro, so before we turn it on, we're gonna go ahead and uh, check everything for ground. Make sure nothing's grounded. So go ahead and, you know, put your one lead on the ground and then start checking everything. Make Pull your probe here first, the other one, and make sure you got a proper ground. Okay, you do hear it? So now go ahead and start checking. Just fitting this connector out and make a new one. So, this is why you guys always want to do a visual inspection first because this capacitor was just on the ground like this. So, maybe that could have arced out and popped the fuse. Hopefully, this motor is not burned out. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to strap this maybe here. Try to make it look nice. And yeah. All right, bro. So go ahead and just check the capacitor. Put our microfarads right there. Yep. Now go ahead and check the cap. Okay, we got 7.2, and it's rated for uh, should be a 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. All right, so it's good. We'll go ahead and put it back in and uh, make it look nice. All right, go ahead and turn it on. Now that we fixed the connection. But before you turn it on, bro, you always want to put the electrical panel kind of close. Like, no, you don't have to close it, but just kind of close. So just in case if something pops, you know what I mean? It doesn't hit us. So go ahead and turn it on. We'll go ahead and wait, see what happens. All right, guys, so the unit didn't kick on. Um, we checked everything else, everything else looks fine. I checked the fuse the fuses again and they're fine so now what we're gonna do we're gonna check voltage from across I'm pretty familiar with this unit so I'm pretty sure one of these uh, fuses is fuse uh, fuse holder is gonna be melted together so go ahead and grab the meter bro and then uh, pull one on one side and the other on the other yep like that what does it say 207 207 told you so I guarantee you that thing's melted together inside so I'll go check the rest that way we yep right there okay what does it say zero what is it zero zero okay the next one zero zero okay check all of them just in case zero all right that's fine so I'll go ahead and uh, shut the power off Take this fuse holder off. Okay, so take this off, take this off, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and jump it just for now. Like that. So go ahead and turn it on, back off, just in case something explodes. There it goes. <laughs> like I said guys, sometimes you just have to relax, do one thing at a time, and if you have to go backtrack a little bit, do it. Don't stress. I know it's hot as fuck over here, but...
So for these, the side glass are right there on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and let it run for a minute. Let it do its thing. And then uh, we'll go ahead and check the side glass. Alright guys, everything's back on. 50. Oh yeah. So it's much, much cooler now. You guys can see the frost. Damn. Damn. 29 degrees going down. All right, bro. So, did you learn anything today? Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> it's more than school, or what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, long story short, we checked the condensers, we checked the condenser motors, compressors, checked pressures. Everything looks fine. We're gonna go ahead and recommend those fuse holders, and uh, that's basically it. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.